Hi everyone, I'm Danielle from BookCoreBlog.com and this is my weekly haul. And it is about to storm, as usual, <laughs> in Florida. It always is about to storm. I got um, a pretty sweet haul this week. Sorry, I have to get comfortable. It's, I don't know, helps me talk. <laughs> I'm going to go a little bit different this week. And I'm going to start with a, a book that I got that's not a fiction. So, uh, it's a... Uh, the Clear Skin pres Prescription. I got a stuttering problem, I swear. <laughs> this is a book about how your diet directly affects your skin. I just want to show you. This actually used to be me. Let's see, I used to um, suffer from really bad acne, and it really depressed me. And I did something called Accutane, which you know cleared me right up. But I'm not immune from breakouts. So I really started uh, shifting my diet around to meet the needs of my skin because it doesn't just help with acne by the way it really helps with like anti-aging you'd be really surprised about what you're putting in your mouth and how it's affecting your skin like little things like bread oh i miss bread though <laughs> and french fries i love french fries pasta that kind of stuff really wreaks havoc on your skin uh relish oh they the list goes on and on of just things that really torture your skin and then there's all these really amazing foods that actually do really good things for your skin like uh, they have antioxidants in them and uh, they don't have as many oils and stuff so I've been doing this diet and I shrunk a little from it and I'm kind of excited about that who doesn't want to shrink a little and hopefully I'll look younger and have beautiful skin <laughs> oh to be famous and just have all that money where they can just make you perfect all right, now I'm going to start out with my haul. I got a uh, e copy from Kim. Kim runs uh, Kimba, the caffeinated reviewer, and she actually hosts this awesome Mimi that I do every week. Kim and me are friends, and she knows that I love historical romance. So she, the author that she was reviewing for let her pick one other blogger to share with, and she picked me. So thank you, Kim. It's called The Promise by Kate Worth, and I'm really excited to read it because I love historical romance, but I never get to review it. I always get review requests for like contemporary and paranormal or romantic suspense, which I love all those categories, but the one that I really love, I never. I only review the ones that I actually purchase on my own because I never get requests for them. It's a request. <laughs> then I'm going to move on to my uh, bound books. The first book that I got, I saw the trailer for it. And of course, I can't go see a movie without reading the book first. It's called The Life of Pi. You should Google this trailer. It looks amazing. And uh, I'm going to read the book eventually. <laughs> I've got a real problem. Also, so the next three books that I have, I was having a little bit of a downer week, and uh, so what better way to make yourself feel better than to go splurge on books you absolutely don't need. Um, so I, I snuck off to the used bookstore, and the first book that I got is Sophia Nash, The Art of Hunting, a du or The Art of Duke Hunk Hunting, I'm stuttering problem. <laughs> the Art of Duke Hunting. There we go. And this is the second book in a series. I have the first book. I have not read it yet. But I'm prepared. Now I have the second book. The next book that I have is How to Marry a Duke. I obviously have a thing for dukes. It's by Vicki Drilling. And I'm really excited to read this one. I heard a lot of great things about it. And, you know a duke in it. <laughs> and the next book that I got is one that I've been looking for and Barnes and Nobles did not have it and I nearly told them that they were not awesome. So, but it actually worked out because my used bookstore had it. It is A Lady Never Surrenders by Sabrina Jeffries and this is the next book in the Hellions of Halstead Hall series. This is a series that I really am into and I really love. And, um, Man, it sucked me in so much that I, I just keep buying the books so that I, I don't have to go without them. Like, uh, it makes me crazy to think that I might have to go without them. So, I'm going to move on to my haul. I mean, my blog. I'm having a day today. <laughs> First thing on my blog, I had a review of Hereafter by Terry Bruce. And that was a really great book. It, um, actually, it only took me a few days to read. I really blew through it. I really enjoyed the story. And I think you should definitely check it out. It was a fun book. 
it's about ghosts. Like, you can't go wrong with the afterlife <laughs> and demons and other spooky things. Um, and then I had a review of The Walking Dead, Miles Behind Us, which is the second volume, which is just as awesome as the first one that I reviewed. I really am enjoying the series. I was actually on the phone and I was trying to read the book, you know, on the longest phone call of my life because I just wanted to keep reading and I couldn't get off the phone. Just me, I guess. Family will drive you crazy. And then I had um, my wish list. And um, that's it. No. I had an author interview, Dangerous Love, by Lilu DuPont, which was a great interview. By the way, that's one of the best interviews I've ever done. It's one of those interviews that I walked away and I was like, I'm proud of this interview. It was really awesome. And there's a giveaway going on with that, so you should check it out. Enter the giveaway. And um, the book sounds really awesome. It's an erotic romance. I like that. It's um, the son of a Nazi and a Jewish girl, which is star-crossed lovers. And I love star-crossed lovers. You can't get wrong with that either. So that's it. And leave the links to yours. I have been going to everybody's haul. And I'll come by and, you know, add your books to my wish list.